So today we're going to be taking a look at my apartment. It's a two bedroom apartment in Dubai Marina and it cost me 1,700 pounds per month. Now that is not all of the fees, that is how much the rent costs. I also pay for uh, my internet, I also pay for the cooling, and of course I also pay for the Diwa, which is our utilities. But today we're gonna be breaking that down and I wanna give you guys an insight into what you can get in Dubai for 1,700 pounds. This is good for you if you are looking to move to Dubai, if you are looking to rent, or if you are a landlord looking to rent out one of your units, or in fact, buying a unit, and this is your research into that said buying. With that said, guys, if you do like this sort of thing, this channel is all about my property purchases in Dubai and around the world. So if you wanna stay up to date with that, do me a favor and smash up that subscribe button, and let's jump straight into today's video. So I wanted to take a look at this TikTok that I made where people really didn't believe me. We're going to be breaking it down a little bit more in a way that you can only do so over on YouTube. So let's take a look at my £1,700 a month apartment in Dubai Marina. This is what £1,700 per month gets you in Dubai. First of all, let's take a look at the view. Quite like that. Some people might hate it, but Technically, you got to see view. Now I have some friends who live in London where I'm from and they pay exactly the same price as I do. So here we are in Dubai Marina. I have a two bedroom apartment. So this is the lounge area and then we have the kitchen. Please excuse all of the mess, all right? I didn't plan to film this video. If we move into here, we have bedroom number one. Boom, there it is, bedroom number one with a view. We go over here. We got the bathroom, we got another bathroom, and then we have the master bedroom, which is the spare bedroom plus my office. It's all a big mess, I know, but... So with that said, it was funny because the comment section was a mixture of people calling me a liar, saying that it was way too cheap for me to possibly be paying that, and other people saying that it was way too expensive. So it's crazy what's happening in the Dubai market, because on one side you have people who have no idea what's happened to the prices in the last couple of years, and on the other side you have people who are very new to the market who believe that Dubai is expensive because right now it is pretty expensive. Now, first of all, I got into this unit almost over two years ago, so the max that anyone can raise the rates is 10% on a long-term contract. That is both a good thing if you are a tenant and probably a bad thing if you are a landlord. That's why for the most part in my rental units that I own, I do short-term rental because you can change the rental price per month depending on what's happening, right? During New Year's, you can charge way more than you can during summer, that sort of thing. So that's why I opt for short-term rentals. I think they're better. I also get a ton of credit card points. So that's something that I like. If you guys watching this are thinking about investing into Dubai, that's what I personally do. I invest there and if you want to come over and chat to me for any reason, ask me questions, ask me about my experience, there is a link to my email and to my link tree there where you can get access to my private investor group if you're looking for deals, anything like that. It's all down there. Feel free to reach out to me. I do have a lot of friends and contacts in the space that can help you get mortgages, buy, sell, all of that good stuff. But with that said, let's just check Property Finder, which is one of my favorite websites to check both rentals and uh, buying and selling units. And we can see that a two bedroom apartment in the marina isn't that crazy that it would cost me around 95,000 dirhams per year, which is 1,700 approximately per month in pounds. If we look here, you can see even with a view like that, we have 80,000 for the year, 80,000 for the year. Scrolling all the way down to the bottom of this page, we got 90,000 for the year. And of course, the better quality the unit or the better quality the building, the more expensive you're gonna pay. So that's what you guys have to look for. The very cheapest you can find in Dubai, right, in Dubai Marina right now is 75,000, which is a far cry from what it used to be. I'll tell you that much because some of these buildings are absolutely horrible. Now, I'm not gonna tell you which building I personally live in, but there are units that you can fit somewhere in the middle, which is I think is the best for living. You can, uh, you know, the building is maybe 10 years old. It's not quite high end, it's not quite low end. Now, something that I'm looking into myself is finding units that are maybe not in the best buildings, but then ripping them out and actually doing them up so people can have a nice experience within the apartment. And that way, it could probably get quite a lot of money for rental and you can probably get quite a good deal when you're buying it. So that's something that I'm looking into and here you can see clearly that it is possible. Now on top of, of course, the rent, which is yearly around 95,000, monthly around 1,700 pounds, I also have to pay for utilities, which is Diwa, which is in at around 500 to 1,000 dirhams per month, which is between 100 and 200 pounds per month. Then I have to pay for my, not utilities, my 
cooling, which of course in summer can go much higher. So that can go as high, the highest I've paid is around 1300 dirhams per month, which is a lot, right? That's, that's a lot of money. And that's uh, about 250 pounds. But on the winter side, it's much, much cheaper, maybe around 100 pounds, 50 to 100 pounds. And then on top of that, we also have my internet, which I uh, get a higher one because I need fast internet for my YouTube. So I pay around 100 pounds per month for that. So they, of course, you have to factor in that. But when you are renting, you don't need to pay the service charge that is taken over by the landlord. So hopefully that gave you a little bit of an insight. So that is pretty much exactly what you'd get for £1,700 per month. If you guys do want to come in and check out, if you guys do want to come and check out how much, if you guys do want to learn more about Dubai investing, feel free to subscribe to the channel or reach out to me directly using the link in my description. See you in the next one.